In this lesson, I'm going to quickly go over System Center 2012, which is a new product released by Microsoft that contains components that were previously separately purchasable products. As I look at this diagram, some of these names may seem familiar, but all of these now are just components of the greater System Center 2012 solution. Configuration Manager is the deployment of operating systems, of applications, of patches for your servers and your desktops. It enables you to gather inventory data, for example, hardware and software inventory about your machines. It lets you do configuration compliance management. For example, I can say, I want this server to look a specific way. If I jump to my configuration management server, if I look at my assets and compliance, one of the things I can do are compliance settings. I can create a compliance item. For example, I'm checking a specific registry entry. I then apply that to configuration baselines, which I then apply to a group of servers. If that server then falls out of that compliance baseline, I'll get notified and configuration manager can even enforce and fix that setting. So it's not just registry keys, it can check for software that's installed, file system activities, WMI, and much more. It can manage deployment of my software, my patches. It can manage deployment of my applications and operating systems. So this is really what you think of as the all-round management of the operating system from a deployment perspective, from a patching perspective. So that's Configuration Manager. We also have Virtual Machine Manager. Virtual Machine Manager is the management for our virtualization environment. For example, it allows us to see our Hyper-V hosts, our ESX hosts, our Zen server hosts. It actually ties into our storage. So we can see all our different LUNs on our SANs define our networks. Create virtual machine templates that can then be deployed to our virtualization hosts. It enables what we call the private cloud. I can define clouds of specific sets of resource. For example, I have a cloud here that uses certain hosts that's allowed to connect to certain types of network and certain classifications of storage. It has its own set capacity, and then I grant users access to this cloud. Additionally, App Controller, another component of System Center 2012, ties into Virtual Machine Manager to give us a web-based interface to manage these environments. So if I actually log in as a user, because I'm an administrator, I can log in as an administrator or a regular user that would be quota enforced. So I can see my on-premise clouds, I can see my Windows Azure clouds. I can deploy virtual machines to those environments for an easy graphical interface. I can deploy entire line of business applications. So instead of just deploying a single VM, I may say deploy this service that has three tiers, multiple instances. And you can see here as a normal user, I don't have enough quota to do this. So I have a rich graphical interface. We have Operations Manager. Operations Manager is the monitoring solution for Microsoft operating systems, Linux, Unix, applications, hardware, custom applications written with J2E or .NET. And rather than just alerting to you when there's a problem, it does proactive monitoring. It's looking at the environment. It has management packs, which is knowledge about the different products and solutions and checks our best practices being followed. Is there something that's indicative of a future problem? Data Protection Manager is the best of breed protection for Microsoft workloads. While most of System Center is heterogeneous, Windows, Linux, Unix, Mac OS, DPM is focused on Microsoft, Microsoft operating systems and Microsoft applications. Protection of things like SharePoint, of SQL Server, of Hyper-V, of file and print servers. So over here, you can see I actually have a DPM server and I have protection for Exchange of Hyper-V. It can protect desktops and it's not only doing a continuous protection, it enables a very, very rich recovery capability. I can recover, for example, individual mailboxes. I could recover individual databases from SharePoint. I could recover individual items. But this is your backup and protection capability in System Center. In the center of that, we have Service Manager. So Service Manager is a configuration management database. If you think of ITIL, which is a common standard, this is part of the ITIL solution. 
and it enables hooks into every other component of System Center. So if I look at my administration in Service Manager, I have a number of connectors, and these connectors are importing information from all the other components. So from Orchestrator, from Exchange Server, from Operations Manager, Configuration Manager, VMM, and bringing all that information together. So when I look at an asset, i.e. a server within Service Manager, I'm seeing information from all those different systems joined together. It has a data warehouse for long-time archival and reporting purposes. It is also a ticketing system. So I can create incidents. I can create change requests, problems, release requests, service requests. And it's through this service request that you can actually create a full service catalog. So if I look at my library, I can create a service catalog and offer services to my end users who then can go and request an incident, a software package, a virtual machine with full workflow capability for approvals before an action actually is performed. Underneath all of this is Orchestrator. An Orchestrator can be thought of as an IT process automation toolbox. It can basically connect into any system. There are a number of integration packs which are built in activities for different types of application or platform. As I extend this out here, you can see, so if I look at Virtual Machine Manager, these are all the types of actions I can perform. But it also has a lot of built-in items, such as I can run SSH commands, I can run .NET scripts, which could be PowerShell, I can run programs. So really, I can connect to any kind of system that I have in my environment and perform actions on them. So if today I have to perform a process that involves using 10 different consoles, I could make that a single run book inside Orchestrator to automate that entire process. These run books can also then be called from things like Service Manager from its service catalog to make them easily available. So that was a very, very quick overview of System Center 2012. You could spend many, many days just talking about individual components. However, it's important you do have an understanding of what those components actually bring to your organization.